Previously on the Game of Thrones. Do you understand? You can't. Video. <laughs> Come. This is what you said to your brother last night, you filthy. Welcome, Lord Stark. The honor of your presence is requested. Oh, dude, here we go. Glad to see you're protecting the throne. How many king's houses have polished, I wonder? And what's the line? The king shits and the hand wipes. <laughs> what? Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> Must be strange for you coming into this room. It was very brave, your brother, and your father too. But you just stood there and watched. Five hundred men just stood there and watched. When I watched the Mad King die, I remembered him laughing as your father burned. It fell for justice. Oh, so what you tell yourself at night? Tell me. If I stabbed the Mad King in the belly instead of the back, would you admire me more? You served him well. When serving was safe. Holy shit, dude. So what I'm thinking is, since the Lancaster dude, or Lan, whatever his name is, he's portraying this scenario like he did justice for his father, I think he's going to come back at one point and the Lancaster dude, the blonde Prince Charming guy, is going to use it against him and ask him for a favor. You guys were saying in the comments, everything has a meaning. So this is what I'm only assuming. Should we begin? Without the king. Winter may be coming, but I'm afraid the same cannot be said for my brother. The Lord so he's literally life. whoring and fucking his way to an early grave. Okay. My brother instructs us to stage a tournament. 40,000 gold dragons to the champion. 20,000 to the runner-up. 20,000 to the winning archer. We already owe Lord Tywin three million gold. What's another 80,000? The crown is six million in debt. How could he let this happen? I'll speak to him tomorrow. As you will, but still, we'd best make our plans. There will be no plans until I speak to Robert. Ow, please, it's nearly healed. You're a pussy. <laughs> a king should have scars. I didn't fight off anything. It bit me, and all I did was scream. That's not true. You killed the beast. You only spared the girl because of the love your father bears her father. Someday, you'll sit on the throne and the truth will be what you make it. This woman is so far up her own ass, it's so insane. And if you don't like her, you only need to see her on formal occasions. And if you'd rather fuck painted whores, you'll fuck painted whores. <clears throat> what? We allow the Northerners too much power. How would you handle them? I double their taxes and command them to supply 10,000 men to the royal army. So we should have a, a standing army of men loyal to the crown. And if the northerners rebel, I'd cry. Shit, dude. I'm not gonna lie. This childling is such an asshole. But the actor is playing his role so fucking well. I am so impressed. A good king knows when to save his strength and when to destroy his enemies. So you agree? The Starks are enemies. Everyone who isn't us is an enemy. I don't I don't like the relationship. It it is it feels so weird, dude. Eat your food. I'm practicing. Practicing for what? The prince. The hound killed your friend. The hound does whatever the prince tells him to do. And if he told the truth, Mike would be alive. Enough. <laughs> Shit, What's dude. Here? Go to your room. We'll speak later. That's for you, love. The same doll maker makes all of Princess Marcella's toys. I haven't played with dolls since I was eight. May I be excused? Oh, you've barely eaten a thing. 
Go away. Oh, yeah. Open the door. May I come in? Why, why, why'd you go to the door armed? <laughs> Whose sword is that? Mine. Little lady shouldn't play with swords. I wasn't playing. And I don't want to be a lady. Dude, from her archery skills and the fact that she went to the lion when meeting the king in the helmet, she definitely wants to be a warrior. Do you know the first thing about sword fighting? I asked my kids to practice with me. It was my fault. Oh, sweet girl. No, no. It was that hound motherfucker, dude. Kill the butchers, boy. I hate them. The hound, the queen and the king, and Joffrey and Sansa. Sansa will be married to Joffrey someday. She must take his side, even when he's wrong. But how can you let her marry? Dude, that's like that. that. That's such an insane concept, though. Royalty is a bitch. We've come to a dangerous place. We cannot fight a war amongst ourselves. Go on. It's yours. Try not to stab your sister with it. <laughs> Don't listen to it. Crows are all liars. I know a story about a crow. I hate your story. I know a story. <laughs> what the f I could tell you about Sir Duncan the Tall. My favourites were the scary ones. Oh, my sweet summer child. What do you know about fear? Fear is for the long night. Children are born and live and die, all in darkness. And women smother their babies rather than see them starve. So is this the sort of story that you like? Through cities and kingdoms, is it, their dead is it me or was that kind of like, you know, a weird ass interaction? <laughs> Get your supper. I want some time with him. You still don't remember anything? It's true, isn't it? What Maester Lewin says about my legs. Right. Is, is he paralyzed? I'd rather be dead. Don't ever say that. I'd rather be dead. Fewer eyes back here, my lady. Still too many. It's nine years since I set foot in the capital, and no one knew who I was the last time I came either. Welcome to King's Landing, Lady Stark. Would you mind following us? Dude, that, that, that was like an immediate contradiction to what she was saying. Cat. You take me for some back alley Sally you can drag into a... <laughs> Have you lost your mind? No one will come looking for you here, isn't that what you wanted? How did you know I was coming to King's Landing? Knowledge is my trade, my lady. My little birds are everywhere. Even in the north, they whisper to me the strangest stories. Whoa. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you, do you, did this bald motherfucker talk to birds? Okay, I, I take that back. That was really rude. Does this guy talk to birds? I must admit I do not. <laughs> There's only one dagger like this in all of the Seven Kingdoms. It's mine. Yours? At least it was. I bet on Sir Jamie in the jousting, as any sane man would. When the Knight of the Flowers unseated him, I lost this dagger. To whom? Oh shit, oh shit. Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion? Dude, what? I mean, I guess, yeah, he's, he's for his family, but I really thought he was different from his siblings. Do you think Ned Stark's bastard bleeds like the rest of us? Next. Well, Lord Snow, it appears you're the least useless person here. The Raven came for Ned Stark's son. Good news or bad? Both. Lord Stark. Oh, dude, here we go. A uh, Raven from Winterfell this morning. Good news? Perhaps you'd like to share it with your wife. My wife is in Winterfell. Is she? I thought that she'd be safest in here. Ned! What you looking at, Halfman? You've got an interesting face. And what do you care about our faces? It's just... I think they would look marvellous decorating spikes in King's Landing. Perhaps I'll write to my sister, the Queen, about it. <laughs> Oh shit. 
They hate me because I'm better than they are. It's a lucky thing none of them are trained by master at arms like your Sir Roderick. Oh, your brother Bran has woken up. Oh, so that's what he meant by good and bad news. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Peter has promised to help us find the truth. Oh, my God. Don't tell anyone. I have a reputation to maintain. How could you be so stupid? Calm down. He's a child. Ten years old. What were you thinking? Oh, shit, thinking dude. Here we go. You're a bit late to start complaining about it now. What has the boy told them? He remembers nothing. Then what are you raving about? What if it comes back to him? We'll say whatever we like. I think we can now fox a ten-year-old. They can write a ballad about us. The war for Cersei's cunt. Oh. What the f- That's so fucking- Oh my god, dude. This is so weird. Boy, I'll talk. I am so kill, uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, I know they're, they're, they're not actual siblings, but like, it's still fucking weird. I know they did it, Ned. The Lannisters in my bones, I know it. I can't do anything without proof. And if you find the proof? I'll bring it to Robert. And hope he's still the man I once knew. You watch yourself on the road, huh? You remember your first? Of course, Your Grace. How do you do it? Lance through the heart. And you're too late. Quick one. They never tell you how they all shit themselves. They don't put that part in the songs. Now the Tarleys bend the knee like everyone else. Lancel. Gods, what a stupid name. Lancel Lannister. Who named you? Some half-wit with a stutter. It's empty, Your Grace. So get more. Dude. Tell your cousin to get in here. Yo, this guy's let his power get to his own head. Come on. We're telling war stories. Who was your first kill? I was there that day. You're only a squire. I'm 16 years old. You're an outlaw. Any last words? I cut his head off, so no. What about Aerys Targaryen? Holy shit, dude. What did the Mad King say when you stabbed him in the back? He said the same thing he'd been saying for hours. Okay, that's gonna come back in the future or at the end of this episode because, like, what the hell does that even mean? Damn. Tell them all to stop. For how long? Until I command them otherwise. You give commands to me. To me. I don't take orders from savages or their sluts. Do you hear me? Holy shit, dude. Tell him I don't want my brother harmed. Holy shit, dude. This is fucking insane. Kill these Dothraki dogs. I am your king. Shall we return to the Kalisar, Khaleesi? Holy shit, dude. This is so fucking insane. Like, uh, oh, uh, you uh, once uh, thought uh, you had power? You walk. But, but now look at you. I wanted to be here. When you saw it for the first time. So I went. I'm leaving this morning. You're leaving? I've been disturbing reports. What kind of reports? The kind I don't want to believe. I'm ready. You're not going. We'll speak when I return. So, you roam the Seven Kingdoms, collaring pickpockets and horse thieves and bringing them here as eager recruits. Aye. Boy, it's not all of them's done bad things. Some of them's high born lads looking for glory. They have a better chance finding feed than glory. Is that what we are, Lannister? An army of jesters in black. I hope we provided you with some good stories to tell when you're back in King's Landing. Join your brothels. Listen, Benjamin, may I call you Benjamin? Tell me what you like. 
I'm not sure what I've done to offend you. I have great admiration for you as First Ranger. <laughs> you know, my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word but really counts. But I don't believe that giants and ghouls and white walkers are lurking beyond the wall. The only difference between us and the wildlings is that when that war went up, our ancestors happened to live on the right side of it. You're going below. Keep well, keep warm. Going below. Aye. Into the tunnel and out the other side. So, you're heading down to King's Landing too? Aye. Let's share the road. I could use some decent company. At Jaka. At Jahaka. At Jahaka. At Jahaka. Yes, Khaleesi. What am I saying? Please don't tell me I'm saying, can I suck your dick? <laughs> you change, Khaleesi. It's a blessing from the grace. <laughs> what the fuck? The track you vote on the Oshari Talkov is Arma. Arma. Slow. Slow. It's true. But also keeps a man alive. No, your father's dead. Just like your mom, Martha. Thomas Wayne is long gone. The Khaleesi have baby inside her. It is true. She does not bleed for two moons. I... Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought those girls were trying to be funny by calling his dick a stallion. <laughs> okay. Winter is coming. The Night's Watch is the only thing standing between the realm. And what lies beyond? Your sister. Tell her. We need help. Gods help us all if we're not ready. <laughs> what the f- I'm sorry to see you leave, Lannister. Will you stop at Winterfell on your way south? I expect I will. If you see my brother Bran, tell him I miss him. Tell him I'd visit if I could. Of course. If you're going to be a cripple, it's better to be a rich cripple. <laughs> Take care, Snow. Farewell, my lord. Right. At least that way you can pay to get your dicks. You are late, boy. Sirio Forel. It's too heavy. It is heavy as it needs to be to make you strong. Now the grip, let me see. That is the grip. You are not holding a battle axe, you are holding... A needle. Ah. Now you will try to strike me. Ha! <laughs> oh! Dead. Oh my god, that's where it ends? Really? Are you serious? Oh my god, you anticlimactic, you. Dude, episode 3 is really setting up the story for like something huge in like the season finale. I don't know how many episodes season 1 is, but like I feel like I received so much backstory within the first three episodes. We got introduced to a new Lannister and the fact that Kat and Boromir, I know his name is Ned, but at one point he's, he's going to become Ned to me, but he's still Boromir in my eyes. But them two getting on the same page and like trying to come up with a plan to get the Lannisters. In the next episode, I kind of do hope that we follow um, Uncle Benjen, I think his name is. Because, like, I, I kind of do want to see what the fuck's going on on the other side of the wall. And can someone tell me how long summer and winter lasts in this world? Because, like, I'm pretty sure there was a scene where Tyron was talking to someone. And they said that there was, like, nine years of summer or some shit. Which is fucking insane. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that has been my reaction to episode three of Game of Thrones. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. And, uh, until next time. See you guys later. Peace out.